Want to listen to this video on the go? Head over to your favorite podcast platform such as Anchor FM and Spotify to listen to the audio of this video. Make sure to follow, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Much appreciated. The Buckingham Palace has been remarkably quiet. They released a statement on Tuesday, the 9th of March, 2021, saying that the following statement is issued by the Buckingham Palace on behalf of Her Majesty the Queen. The whole family is saddened to learn the full extent of how challenging the last few years have been for Harry and Meghan. The issues raised, particularly that of race, are concerning. While some recollections may vary, they are taken very seriously and will be addressed by the family privately. Harry, Meghan and Archie will always be much loved family members. Now, it is good that they came out with a statement, but we the people want more. Okay, these people sat there for two hours, if you mm -hmm. <laughs> minus all the long advert, about one and a half hours, sat there, kindly spoke to Oprah and poured their hearts out. And then we get uh, one, two, three, four, like five lines from the Buckingham Palace. While some recollections may vary, which really points to the fact that they probably don't agree with anything that was said, <laughs> not everything that was said, and that they definitely have uh you know different thoughts about how things may have gone in terms of everything that they discussed in that interview with oprah so will we ever hear from them or is this really going to stay private this is the question i'm your co-host and i'm joined by african auntie and uncle they have some thoughts too and this story broke uh i, I was thinking that it it wouldn't be left to only a press statement mm. And it wouldn't only be left to uh, Prince William going to a school and being, I mean, being uh, surprised by a journalist mm -hmm. with a question mm -hmm. as to whether he had spoken with a brother. You know, I was thinking there was somebody like Prince Charles. Mm -hmm. Let's even take the Queen out. Yeah. Somebody like Prince Charles, who is, I mean, who is uh, uh, the next to the throne, mm -hmm. was going to come out with a public statement mm -hmm. and he's also the father of, uh, of Harry and William mm -hmm. you know so I don't think the press statement is is that enough it is good that it has come out it is good that uh, William has gone to a school and he has you know he has given his take on the whole issue mm -hmm. see the more this in drugs on without uh, with I mean with a silence com almost complete silence from the palace it is going to put a big dent on their reputation mm. you know before even this story broke there were a lot of talks about the monarchy yeah. this thing has come and it is it is a worldwide news everybody mm -hmm. is talking about it mm -hmm. you see so the, the more they keep quiet the more they don't say anything and they think it is business as usual address the issue let the whole world hear how i mean things have actually uh, happened all this time well here's the thing a lot of people are saying this is preposterous that they even did this interview because uh, you know the queen's husband is obviously very very ill or ill we don't know how ill he is but he's in no he's been in hospital and stuff like that so people are like the queen will have her own things mm -hmm. to deal with and to think about you know let's yeah let's put it into perspective at the end of the day this is a young couple they're gone she's there husband's ill the world is actually on fire with this whole <laughs> coral thing that we're dealing with right and um yeah you know what you're saying is they must not think that it's business as usual but i do think this is one of these things that we thought it was going to be super explosive and that's why they keep calling this interview this explosive interview with oprah mm -hmm. but i do think that the longer they stay silent the more it will just go away we're not busy with this anymore like how we were busy with it in the beginning mm -hmm. it's just dwindling as time is progressing and uh, that's probably a tactic as well because i cannot foresee i cannot imagine the queen sitting there or even prince charles sitting there and addressing this issue i don't think so i think they'll just do it privately they don't owe us anything so they're they're not going they're just not going to do that they're not going to do that no, no you see the, nobody is forcing them to come <clears throat> come up with a statement but it is for their own good all the things that Megan was saying, it was in the headlines and they were not true. So why didn't they say it? Mm -hmm. When it happened to her, they were in the headlines, mm -hmm. you know, that he, uh, he made uh, this girl cry. She made, she made uh, 
um, Kate. Kate cried, mm. and it was the opposite. Mm. Why didn't they say it? Well, they should have just debunked it. They should have just said that wasn't true. They shouldn't necessarily have said this is what happened. They should have just said that is false. But then again, the royal family. I have been... learned a lot about them, but the royal family marrying outside, mm -hmm. outside the royal, they suffer. Mm -hmm. The women suffer. Yeah. The men suffer. Yeah. Some of them die impromptu. Mm. You know, like William. You know. Another William. You need to explain William. that a bit. The William that they named this William after. Mm -hmm. You know, he died in the 70s. I don't actually remember the time, but mm -hmm. yeah. He also fell in love with a woman in Japan. A Japanese woman, different culture, different everything. Mm -hmm. Not he royal. No royal. I didn't succeed. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah. In the end, they broke off, and 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 then this man died. They keep on calling Megan a divorcee mm -hmm. and so on. But a lot of the royals are they, 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 they have been divorced. Mm -hmm. Prince Prince Charles is divorced. Mm -hmm. Prince Anne is divorced. Mm -hmm. Andrew is divorced. Yeah. I mean, why do you keep on calling her a divorcee? Why don't Forget you forget about Andrew that? Half these reporters reporting. What does their life look like? I just imagine very miserable. Uh, miserable slightly obsessed people I mean to be honest journalism is not if it ever even was uh, on some level what these people are doing what these tabloid people are doing if they ever went to school or university for it they should be ashamed because what they are putting out there is gossip mm. it's stuff that is not true it has no substance mm. I don't know who is reading it I do not know who they is buy buying it. it they buy it they pay a lot and that is the problem it. When you go to the hospital, all the people sitting there, all the people that are ill, what do they have to entertain themselves? Newspapers. Newspapers and tabloids. That's what they have to entertain themselves now. Most of the time, they don't care for it either. They're mm -hmm. just like, this is rubbish. Mm -hmm. But it's something to let your mind wander whilst you, you're not mm -hmm. thinking about mm -hmm. what's mm -hmm. going on with you. But let me tell you, that's the problem too. I wish that would just all die down, uh, you know, unless they change their content because their content is whack. Yeah, now I, I really don't know it. how much the royal family themselves yeah how they can really influence what these tabloids put out right I do know that they have some sort of relationship mm -hmm. obviously they, the tabloids make sure that they are they come out in a good light so that the mm -hmm. public likes them mm -hmm. kind of thing the, the, the tabloids story is is a, a different story altogether mm -hmm. you know they will do anything write anything to make sure that they sell Mm -hmm. They become popular, mm -hmm. you know. So I don't think anybody can strike any compromise with them. Mm -hmm. they, they put up stories. Yeah. Some are true, some are untrue, and you know they make sure that the story is big. Most of them are untrue. So yeah, mm -hmm. I mean that is a tabloid for you. Yeah, yeah. committed to everything. No, but I mean look at what they did to Lady Diana. They followed this lady. Uh, I mean, they, she, there wasn't any place for her to hide. Mm. You know, so mm -hmm. as for the tabloid, let's take them out of it. Mm -hmm. You you cannot strike any day with them. They will do anything and everything to make sure that they become popular. Mm -hmm. Whatever they write sells. Mm -hmm. You know. In the long so run, it. it's one of those jobs that I'm just like. In the long run, okay, you got the story, but what did you do? You totally messed up somebody's life. Mm -hmm. actual life yeah you know what whatever story those people that were chasing Princess Diana were trying to get you probably got it and now what mm -hmm. years later now we don't care about you and your story I don't even know who was chasing them mm -hmm. I don't know your name I didn't care to remember it uh, you you're you're not that important to society at the moment you know mm -hmm. that's what I don't understand about no, that job. Remember but you always remember Princess Diana. They should probably come out with something more, but since, since they say recollections may vary, I am afraid it will not be anything that is congruent with what was said in that interview with Oprah. Mm. And therefore, what you might get now is a back and forth from these people in California and these people in Britain, and it's just going to go back and forth. Mm -hmm. And what is that? That doesn't look like royalty. That would be something unprecedented. That would be something we've never seen before. And it would just, it would just be weird. Because we're not supposed to see them as common people who argue and who have disagreements and we're also not supposed to be all up in their business. This is really getting into specific dialogue, specific conversations that were had, wherein specific things were said that were brought up in the interview. And I don't foresee them doing this back and forth. 
I think we're just going to have to make do with this statement that was put out there. Mm. And that's just what it's going to going to be, unfortunately. Mm. But it would have been nice if it was something different. I have been your co-host and you've been listening to African Auntie and Uncle React. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. <laughs>